Welcome everybody to another unboxing. Um, before I do this quick little unboxing, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I recently hit 200 subscribers. And for me, that's pretty big. I, for someone who just did a YouTube video just uh, for fun, just because he liked doing this type of stuff, you know, I never even imagined 100, let alone hitting 200. So if you're subscribed, um, I want to say thank you. Um, I do plan on doing some sort of giveaway to celebrate the 200 subscribers. Uh, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Also, I think I'm going to be, um, I have another channel that I really didn't use that I didn't keep up with. Um, so I may just be keeping this channel for unboxings, uh, reviews, things like that. And then my other channel would be like vlogs, the podcast and all things like that. Um, let me know if that's something I should do. Maybe keep them separate because I know maybe somebody might subscribe to for an unboxing video or a review video and then they see vlogs or hear podcasts and maybe you don't want that. So maybe keeping them separate might be a better thing. Uh, I'm not sure. I did plan on just having one channel and just having everything, but I feel like nowadays that's probably not something that can actually, you know, happen, I guess. Um, but anyways, I want to say to those 200 and well, I think it was two last time I checked subscribers, uh, thank you very much and hopefully you keep along for the rest of this journey because um, I just, yeah, I just want to keep making things happen and, and, and doing bigger and better things. So with that being said, we're going to go into this review. Um, basically, I want to say it's going to be my favorite uh, soccer boot shoe of the year. Um, if you could tell by the description, if you read it, obviously if you clicked on this video, you know what it is. And it is basically the Techcraft, Nike Techcraft, uh, the Mercurial Vapor. And what's special about that is that these are made of leather. Um, and I don't know too much about these, honestly. I do like to watch other people's videos, uh, um, other uh, reviewers and you know kind of gauge what they like what their information is but i haven't seen too many um videos on this so um i, I don't know i don't know what to think of these uh, i see that these were going to be released on the nike app um and then uh they were like they said they were unavailable to me and i had them favorited and then it was gone from there and then they reappeared a few days later um but so yeah, Vapor 13 Elite Tech Craft in the firm ground stud pattern, and they're all black and kangaroo leather, from what I've heard. I don't know how soft. I don't know what they're gonna be like, but let's open it up and find out. So here's the cleat, the shoe, the boots. It's all black, which I don't mind because I'm, I'm really digging all black boots right now. And the leather, mm, it's soft. It doesn't really feel like leather though. If you compare it to like a Tempo or a Premier, I guess I expected more out of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it almost feels like Tajin to me, to me. And you can see how soft it is. It's already got a little indent right here, like if someone had worn them, uh, but I swear no one's worn them. Obviously you saw, I just opened the box. You got your Techcraft inside right there. And what tech, the Techcraft is just basically Nike's uh, models that they just released them in leather. And a few years back they had them in like some weird different colorways, all their, their line, their soccer lines. But this time I think they're only doing the Phantom Venom. I think and the mercurial so uh, it comes with this little thing so plate is the same as all the other vapors nothing different I don't know I think I want to say that's a wearable finish but it just say does just you know ever so slightly does say the mercurial if you watch my other videos or you've seen any other videos the branding so what that's what I like about this that it's not as noticeable on these and like I said, I've really been enjoying um, leather boots lately, so um, I'm kind of happy that they made these. 
can't wait to do a play test on them. And then the bag is, is a little bit different. It's almost like a, a velvet feel, I would say. And it says Techcraft right there in the front, but it's not your average string bag. So that's a little bit different from Nike. Uh, I This is my first pair of Techcraft. I've never uh, got a pair before, so I don't know if that's you know a normal thing or not. Um, but yeah, this is this is the the boot in kangaroo leather. Um, just wanted to do the unboxing, and then I want to do a play test on them. Nothing nothing different that I can see visually. Um, like I said, I would have to wear them and really try them to see if there's a different feel to them as opposed to the regular um, Mercurials. I imagine it's going to be different. Uh, that's my thing. You buy the Mercurial for the feel of it, for what it's going, you know, what it's offering you. So maybe having a leather version is probably not a good idea. But at the same time, it does reach out to those enthusiasts who actually like the the leather feels so hopefully it, it's a good feeling um and i will definitely do a play test on these as soon as possible so with that being said again thank you to all of you who have subscribed oh wait a minute so the inside <laughs> now that i'm feeling the inside um it, it's almost like the bag like a velvety feel um so it's the <sighs> See, it doesn't smell like leather as opposed to like the... That's that's how I've always been known to test my leather. Um, obviously, it's not fully leather. It's just the top part. This back part is a synthetic. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too impressed by these, I guess you could say. Mm, had to try them out, but so far, I don't know what Nike did. It doesn't feel like a quality boot, I would say. So, um, stay tuned for my play test on on these. Um, but like as I was saying, you know, thank you to everybody who has subscribed, um, all 200 and plus of you guys, and stay tuned for a giveaway. I'm gonna give something away. I don't know what yet, but something. And um, yeah, just continue to support me, please, and like, comment, subscribe, and we we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.